and uh, I'm a professional parkour athlete. My whole philosophy with veganism is all about um, it's obviously just trying to find the better you in every way, physically, mentally and spiritually. And it's all about having fun, that's my philosophy. I try to mix it up, so let's say in the morning I'll try and hit the gym for an hour or two hours. Right. Um, I usually go from like 9 till 12. Fasted? Yeah. Uh, As in fasted, to yeah, 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 absolutely yeah. fasted. Like that's my new thing, so fasted. Um, See, it's fine. Yes, it's a new, it's a new craze, everyone's here. Yeah, yeah. um, and then I'll try and go rock climbing for two hours. Indoor. Indoor, yeah. yeah. And, and then usually following that is like potentially some training outside for an hour or so. Uh -huh. And then I'll, yeah, park yeah, stuff. Yeah. And then I like to finish it off. Usually we have an evening session at my gym. So yeah, I'll hit it up and have a yeah, park or stuff. Do you do any yoga? Uh, oh, of course, but this is, yeah, you're right. It absolutely does change. Like sometimes I'll hit my wife's um, yoga classes. <laughs> They're the best, check them out. <laughs> no, I just, I'm sorry, sometimes I hit my wife. <laughs> No, no. I always call myself a student in movement because I just love, not just fitness, I'm not really too bothered about yeah, fitness, yeah. I'm more like attached to the movement and the ex like expression, yeah. um, so I find like a different movement just brings something fresh to the table, you know, like I love skydiving, snowboarding, scuba diving, I think we should never grow old, I honestly think that, like, I don't think we should grow old like here, we can grow old here and physically, but like in your heart, don't do it. Was your family quite encouraging when you were a kid, you know, Absolutely. for your passion yes, for movement? Yes, yes, yes. You know what, I have to say, I am blessed and I will do the same for my kids, but yeah, you have to, you have to fuel their, their passion, you know, like my mum and my dad never told me, like, don't get off there, don't climb on that, don't jump off that. Because I wouldn't be here today, you know, if somebody yeah. had suppressed that passion. So we see yeah. that all the time, right? In the park when some when a parent like takes the child yeah. or something, we're like, no no no, let him do it. Yeah. 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 yeah, there's all your parents out there. Fuel the passion, don't suppress it. Yes. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> well if it's like it's gonna try and compete, I think you might be a No, I'm not a chance to compete here. Can I push it? <laughs> Where are you from, right? <laughs>
Uh, we've had a super nice day, especially because we got two free coffees with Oatly Milk, winning. And yeah, went to some talks, met up with some people, because at these festivals you tend to like run into people, which is super nice, build friendships, build connections, all that jazz. But we are starving, so we're gonna go to Tibbetts. Tibbetts. I've never been there. We're gonna go, I'll give you a little review, my little roundup afterwards. And we were hoping to get a little inside scoop of Damien and Judy's next move post Evolution because we were gonna interview them and they said they were gonna give us a little inside secret. But to be honest, they are just so run off their feet at these events. They do pretty much everything themselves, I think. So I think we'll try and grab them another time. But yeah, super well done to them because their events are just really awesome. Really nice energy, everyone's just super friendly. And yeah. So we're at Tibbetts, we're gonna try the food, or well, Jacob's tried it already, but I'm gonna try the food, I will let you know how I feel about it. stuff in my teeth. No. In which case, it was super good. Actually delicious, that was exactly what I wanted after having cake for breakfast. So, well done Tibbets. Very, very, very tasty. <laughs> I got in my mm, the evolution Ow. <laughs> goodie bag that I just dropped on my ankle anyway so it's quite the hefty bag I haven't looked at it I thought we would go through it together and see what we got so got a few leaflets about things I will not go through all of them with you but whoo I don't know where to begin okay so we have some organic brown rice pasta with Quinoa and amaranth. Mm. Per 100 grams, 10 grams of protein. Not bad. <laughs> then we've got my favorite things. I love these. They are hippies, or as I call them, chippies. Um, they are super good. If you haven't tried them, try them. But this packet is a bit of a joke. I mean, come on, <laughs> gonna eat that in one go. Anyway, then we've got roasted peas, sea salt flavor. Haven't tried those, but we'll try them another time. I'm not gonna try any of this stuff, by the way. We just ate that massive meal at Tibbetts, so I just thought I'd show you what you get when you come to a Vivolution event and get a nice little goodie bag. Uh, so then we've got also another one, probably exactly like the peas, some love corn, love corn, sea salt flavor. Ooh, babe, we've got a new mayo to try. Wow. 
we've got Mr. Organic, free from. Get out, focus. Oh, oh. Vegan, free from mayo, so we'll try that. I mean, realistically, it probably isn't going to beat veganaise because nothing does, but you know, I'll let you know. Ah, then we have another Oatly Cream. I showed you this in my uh, October favorites, so you already know, I love that, but always good to have some more. Mm. Then we have some King Coco Naturally Sweet, stop focusing on my face. King Coco Naturally Sweet Coconut Water, which I am excited to try. I love coconut water, but it's generally super expensive, so I don't always buy it, but that will be nice to try. And it's organic, so Jacob will be happy. He loves organic stuff. Okay, then we have some coconut chips. They are like smoked coconut chips. I don't know about that. I'm not mad on smoky stuff, but hey ho, try them still. And <laughs> that was no good. Okay, then we have this Makacha, I don't know, Makacha, Makacha. <laughs> I don't know, but it's a plant-based protein shake with maca and yerba. I want to say yerba mate because I've heard someone else say that, but I don't know what it is. Yerba mate, yerba mate, I don't know. Um, but yeah, obviously, obvious what it is. Plant protein vanilla shake. Uh, that would be nice for me to try because I, my favorite flavor is vanilla. Um, I'm just like that, a bit of vanilla as a person. So yeah, excited to try that. I will let you know in another video what I think of it, maybe. So then we just have some. Candy Kittens Gourmet Sweets. They don't actually say what they are, so I have no idea, but a bit exciting to try. A Naked Lemon Drizzle Bar, which again, if you guys have been watching for a while, you will know that I love these, so happy to have another one that just landed in my lap. Let's try that again. Then the last foodie thing is these Nibble Protein Bites. Lemon with coconut, which sound delightful, I must say. Dairy-free, gluten-free, vegan, all the good things. High protein, source of fiber, low GI. Uh, bleep, do, 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 do. Per hundred grams, 24 grams of protein. Not at all bad. I'm interested to try those too. Although the first ingredient is dried plum puree, which seems interesting, but you know, we'll try it. The fuck is that? Okay, so onto the thing that has probably made this bag smell of what it smells like. We have a whoop, Lush or two Lush products, I feel like. Yeah, so we've got ooh, um, some kind of pink thing. <laughs> and some kind of yellow thing. I don't know, I assume it's soap. I may not use these. They may get re-gifted because I'll let you into a little secret. I hate the smell of most Lush products. I know like everyone loves Lush, especially vegans because they do loads of vegan stuff and it's great. They're a great company. They do loads of vegan stuff. They do minimal packaging and most of their packaging is either like completely recyclable or compostable or you can take it back to them and reuse it, which is fantastic. But I just think that shop smells like shit, so <laughs> it's not my favorite. But you know, not hating on Lush, just, you know. Person, personal thing. Uh, right, then we have another Lush product. A thousand milli Helens jelly face mask. I might, do you know what? I might try that. I realize now I shouldn't have shown those last products on camera because I could have just given them to someone for Christmas, but now they'll know if they watch this video. Moving on to another thing. I have no idea what it is, but I'll show you anyway since it came in the thing. So this is a, um, what is that? A necklace? <laughs> a necklace? Oh, maybe. Oh, I think it is a necklace. Made from a recycled Boeing 747. Just what you've always wanted, really. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Interesting. I feel like I would have liked this when I was like nine or something. Did anyone else used to do that? Love these things with the like brown, uh, brown, with the black rope and like something attached to it. I used to wear these all the time when I was going through my little, I don't know, Avril Lavigne phase. And then last thing on that kind of beauty body, whatever you want to call it uh, thing is a Dr. Organic uh, hair care thing. Oh, it's a bit reflective. Can you see that? Uh, anyway, it is a organic hemp oil intensive conditioning hair mask. <laughs> Catchy. I've tried actually this Dr. Organic. I tried the shampoo because naturally Stephanie recommended it. I cannot say that it was my favorite. My hair didn't like it so much, but I will give this a go. And again, if I like it, I will let you know. It's all the good things again. No parabens, no SLS, no synthetic colors, blah, 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 blah. And then lastly, basically we just have some odds and ends, some random little bits. So some, whoop, whoop, some little badges. Uh, one that says animal equality. 
equality. You cannot see that because it's focusing on my face. Animal equality. One with a burger and fries and ketchup on. I, I don't know why. And one that says, I love animals, because who doesn't love animals? If you don't love animals, get off my channel. <laughs> and then basically everything that's left in the bag is just all odds and ends, little stickers from brands that I suppose are probably the sponsors or anyone who's helped out in the evolution of evolution. <laughs> Sorry, I've had like two coffees and I'm running on not much sleep, so you'll have to deal with my humour. And yeah, just some postcards of animals. Many postcards of animals. 10% uh, off some things, some discount vouchers. Just, just all sorts of things, basically. Advertising, but you know, advertising for stuff you might actually be interested in. Like 15% off Moju. I love Moju, their ginger shots are the uh, Advertising for the vegan campout. Mmm, I don't know what that is. And lastly, just a little magazine, Bright Zine. Uh, the Vivolution edition, I imagine it's just got all things Vivolution in it. Yes, it does. So yes, that is the Vivolution goodie bag. It is, yeah, chock full of stuff. So if I particularly like anything, I will let you guys know if it's something I think that is worth buying again. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as always. If you did enjoy it, as always, press the subscribe button. And if you want to click that notification bell so that you don't miss another upload, Give it a little like if you liked it, and I will see you in my next video.